Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Stylosa and this is Overanalyzed, our awesome Overwatch community coaching series. It's going to be beautiful. And today we're going to take a look at a player that, uh, where is this player? It's over here <laughs> in this spawn. Now, it's a support player in this game uh, when we find her in a second. Uh, there she is. Uh, underneath Roadhog. Oh, dear. This is... Uh, I don't know what I've walked in on. <laughs> um, but it's an Ana player. But that's not what's significant with this overanalyzed. Because it's... It's doing it again. She's moving it into... Roadhog is consuming Anna. <laughs> oh, no. What is this? Uh... A nice Paris spray. Uh, oh, a little bit of lore about this. Look, it's the Infinity symbol, if you look at it. And it's Paris Eternal's the team name, so Eternal Infinity. Cool stuff. Uh, also, it's a cockerel as well, because, you know, it, it, it is French. Um, yeah, but the, what makes this cool, before I got heavily distracted there, is it's a tank player that's trying to play support. And I think there's a lot of players out there that might be swapping roles. So this actually might be a really good overanalyzed for that. Now, remember, guys, if you do want to take part in this show, go to the link in the video description below or go to unitlost.com forward slash overanalyzed. And I'm going to throw out another call for the merchandise. This is the value range. Now, it is the champion hoodie. It is doing extremely well. This is, guys, um, we actually did run out of stock, but I've managed to get more stock for this. Um, so you can still carry on ordering again now if you want this. Um, there are uh, the, the hoodie, the um, the joggers, and there is the neck gaiter or the face covering available. Um, but the hoodie is going absolutely ballistic. So I'm, I'm trying to keep it in stock as long as I can. Um, but yeah, get over there and order that. It is unitloss.com forward slash shop. Uh, or there is a link in the video description below. Okay, let's do this. Let's get on board with our Anna. And uh, let's just play this as we go through the email. So the email says, Hi, Stai. I've been a fan for a while now, and it will mean a lot if you could go, if I could go and overanalyze. I'm a platinum tank main, pretty good playing tank, um, but I enjoy playing Anna, and I really want to play support. Um, I think I'm good with anti-grenades, um, and I think I hit the team quite consistently. I always feel like I'm playing very well, but I keep losing, and I don't know why. We've, we've seen this a lot. Like This is a very common theme with a lot of players where they... I'm playing well, I'm, I'm doing great. But the reality is, this is a game which is pretty much borderline silver. So if you're a platinum tank and, you know, you're just in gold as a support, something is, is obviously going on here, which we're going to need to evaluate. Okay, so, uh, as this game is start of kicking off, we're, I mean... Let's just let this play a second and then we might go back, because I'm already noticing some little things at the moment. <laughs> and, and, and I say little things, it's actually kind of big things. Like, we're not really healing the team. As mad as that sounds, like, that's a nice kill, but we're dead and the rest of our team is dead. So if we just go back here and run through this section again. I'm going to slow this down. Uh, uh, no, let's leave it at normal speed because we've already watched it. But watch what's going to happen now, right? So we're trying to kill this Farah. Then we try and kill the ball. Then we fire our sleep dart randomly. We turn around and think we best heal our... Widow, she was asking for healing. Our hog is getting battered on the front line. We are starting to prioritize healing the hog. Doing a lot of jumping. Seems to be like a common thing with a lot of players these days. I mean, I'm guilty of this myself. We shouldn't do it. This is the bit where I get confused now. So we throw an anti-nade into the floor to heal ourselves. Or just a nade into the floor. But we're still prioritizing this Farah. Like the rest of our team is being destroyed and we're trying to kill the Farah. We do get her, but we die. So when we look at this sort of... What just happened there... If I just disconnect here as we let this play, like, we know where we just died. On top of the payload, on top of the team, it's a bit of a mess. Why weren't we taking up a position maybe that was here so we could see our team pump heels into them, keep them going, right? We need to always be cognizant of our positioning with Anna because we can get caught out and we don't want to get killed. We need to use line of sight to our advantage. So, look, this Winston just dived on top of us. Okay, we, we are... You, mm, unlucky, we needed to reload. Okay, we just leave him. We slapped him. Okay, unlucky. Divas woke him up. But, like, we we kind of reacted okay in that scenario there. We did try and keep the hog alive. Didn't manage to do it, but that's fine. And it's getting a little bit messy now. And we do have Nano available. So, throughout all of what I've just seen here, um, I feel like your... Let's say your accuracy with Anna. Okay, that was not a good move. But I feel like your accuracy... Well, I'll explain that in a second because there's a lot going on here. This is getting very, like, messy because everyone's just all over the place and it's going crazy. So we're going to bring this back and we'll explain why this was not particularly good play. So the point I was making is that I think your accuracy is pretty good. Like, we're, we're, we're aiming at targets and we're firing at them and we're generally hitting them, which I think is okay. 
Um, I'm not seeing any kind of Anna quick scoping, but I don't expect to see that at this low level. Um, but like a, a straight up aim goes, I think you're you've got it right. You you should be able to push this forward through to the same level as your tank. I've got no problems with with that there. So this is where I've got a problem, right? We're going to nano this hog. Now, what exactly is the... Uh, I don't have my pen up, so I can't actually draw on the screen at the moment, guys. But we've just nanoed the hog, right? Where in our team comp is the... Uh, like, where's the combo, right? Well, it's Soldier. But Soldier seems to have used his ult, or maybe he changes here. I wasn't entirely sure if Soldier was on our team to begin with. But we've nanoed the hog, and the hog's on his own on the front line, and he's totally disconnected from the team. There's like, there is no value there. We always talk about value, we talk about it being a bit of a meme, but there is no value there because he is literally on his own in the enemy team and he will die. Like, he's not going to achieve anything. We can invest loads of stuff into just keeping him alive, which it looks like we are doing. Well, we're just ignoring him now and he's on his own. But you see what I'm saying? Like, that didn't actually achieve anything. Nanoing Hog there would have been no different as if we just nanoed him now. Well, in fact, it would have been because it would have been better to nano him now, right? Because the fight's breaking out, the team's together. Okay, so... Oh, no. Okay, good reaction to the soldier ult. I think what we're going to try and do... Okay, good good, good hook from the hog. Okay, like, there's a lot of grenades that are getting wasted as well. Um, You've got to remember that with Anna, the grenade is so powerful. Like, anti-nading the enemy team is mega powerful. Obviously, nading your own team is super powerful because it increases the healing output on them as well as healing them straight away. It's, it's Anna's burst heal, right? I like this. This is good positioning. We're sitting on the high ground. We've got great line of sight here. We're, there's no danger, right? We can just pump healing into our team. Our team are using a bunch of ultimates here. We're going to win this fight easy. But I like that overall positioning there that you picked up. It's much better than being on top of the payload. So we are already seeing there's glimmers of... I mean, this is not a good ult by the hog either because like we've won this fight. I don't know why he's done that. But you've just got to take that out of your head. But what I do like to do, and the reason why I highlight those bad ultimate usages, which it's very obvious it's a bad ultimate... It's because it's good that you identify it, but you don't need to tell that player. Just be like, okay, fine, whatever. But you know it's bad. It gives you a better picture of, as to what's going on in the game. And then we can start, you know, building up this... This We, all, we always talk about this Overwatch brain, which can mean a billion different things. But it's it gives us a better read of the game. And that's what it's all about. So here, when I'm coming back to reading the game, you know, I'm seeing you jumping up and down quite a lot. Okay, that's fine. We're on the flank. That Reinhardt goes straight in. Great sleep on him. That's a good reaction. Threw the nade into the shield. Again, we probably could have done a bit better there. I think we tried to save Hog there with that nano, but it landed on uh, Moira, which is, again, okay. Like, I I'm always... I don't have an issue with nanoing people to keep them alive like that because one of the issues with players at these ranks is they generally won't use their ultimates that often, and you've pretty much used yours consistently over and over again, and I, and I do like that. And we didn't really need to heal ourselves there again, did we? Like, we only took minimal damage. So just be aware, like, take a take a second. If we are taking a little bit of damage, take a second look and think, do I need to heal myself? Do I not? Uh, don't just immediately react. I mean, that is a... That that there is an absolutely huge anti-nade. And I am getting a little bit carried away talking about some other stuff. But that anti-nade there is absolute massive value. There are quite a few points in Overwatch where there are these chokes. And, and the flow of the game goes in such a way where we know where the enemy team will be. And you exactly showed me your knowledge of the game there. That's probably your plat tank knowledge coming through. You knew we'd won the fight. You knew they were pushed back here. And then you end up throwing what is an absolutely massive anti-nade into the enemy team there. And that is like, in terms of value, that's just massive. This is one of the reasons why Anna is just incredibly... Also, your name's almost Pork Pie. I love it. <laughs> Hot Pie. Hmm. Um, yeah, it's just massive value. Like, I, I, I love that. I think that's really, really good. So it's like straight up play there that you know you can't you can't really rate that any higher that's just incredible that won that fight right so <laughs> okay i'll take that <laughs> now i think like yeah i i, I think we've, you're actually a pretty good player again like this is exactly where i'd like you to go don't mind you taking that see so <laughs> i love anna's voice if any of you guys have been playing World of Warcraft, the, there's an NPC in the game <laughs> which has got Anna's voice and it's like you have to talk to her quite often and it's like, yeah, that's Anna. Um, so yeah, like I want to kind of just talk about the team comp here and why what you just did is good, but why it could also be bad. Because I think sometimes players can be, you get caught in like a little rhythm, right? And you're like, okay, I'm Anna. I'm always going to push forward here. I, I can bring up my scope and I can kill someone. And you did and it was great. 
but it was a soldier we were fighting against. Now, it's very unlikely that soldier will kill us at that range, right? If he starts firing at us, maybe he fires his helix rocket, gets lucky, and it hits us, he might. But he's gonna. it's going to take time to kill us, right? The, the time to kill is not super low. But if this was a Widow, if this was a Hanzo, even a Torbjorn can be, like, shockingly disgusting at killing you at range, or a May. But I would say Widow and Hanzo, obviously. Um, you could maybe throw an Ash in there uh, as well. But the two snipers, they could instantly kill you from this position. And then we end up poking our head out, getting killed straight away. It's like, oh, oh, it's not really worth it. But that's where it comes into reading the situation. So as we poked around the wall, we would look and think, okay, there's a Widow. I'm getting the hell out of it. Um, or we would constantly keep pressing Tab or bringing up the scoreboard uh, on the console just to, or, or the score screen, just to see what the enemy team comp is. Now, we've almost got um, a nano boost available. If we are in voice comms, we should be telling our team, guys, I've nearly got nano, let's just wait before we use ultimates, because there's two here you can nano with. You can nano Bob, surprisingly effective. The enemy team do have a Sombra, though, so they can shut Bob down pretty easily. Uh, or your nano soldier. I mean, you out of the two, you're nano in soldier. So this is fine here. Um, we get a nade in if we can. No. But we lose this fight. It's fine. It doesn't matter. They have used Graviton Surge. And this, again, is something I want you guys to be aware of. That if the enemy invests ultimates, big ultimates like Grav, and win a fight, it's fine. It's totally fine, right? Because that's a fight you'd expect them to win. Is he teabagging? Is that, that Roadhog teabagging? Oh, dear. But it's totally fine, right? Anyway, just to recap what we've seen so far with your play. I think overall, it's, it's okay. I think we are... Maybe not healing our team as much as we should be. All right, so this is a very early nano. Like a lot of the... If we just come off this... Right, so a lot of this has been wasted. He's probably still going to get killed. No, he's just going to get destroyed. So, oh man, this is, this is so sad. Okay. It, I think it's going to end up working. I think, I think we... It looks like we're going to win this fight, I think. Mm. Like, it was a good nano... Because the intent was there. But it was too early. Soldier needed to be on the high ground. Then he needed to be nano. You nanoed him too early. It doesn't matter if he's screaming for nano. It, you just be like, whatever. Get into a position, then nano him. Because you don't want him nanoed as he's running through the corridors. Because he's not getting any sort of... Well, he's not getting value with that, is he? He's just burning away the ultimate. One of the issues we've, we've had in this game consistently as well. Is we have no frontline tank. Now the enemy have no frontline tank as well. Which means that we're very open to just getting hit with a lot of stuff. Um, and again, using the nade there when we're, we're not really... We're not really low. Okay. Yeah, but, but you did disengage. So so there is... So the thing is, there's a lot of positives here that I'm seeing. It's not like this is a lost cause. And I do feel you're much better than, than a low gold, borderline silver uh, support player, definitely. Especially, especially on Anna. I feel like... Yeah, I honestly feel like it's just a... It's almost like a, an awareness thing, or like your general Overwatch awareness um, from a support perspective is not there. Because we're prioritizing... We're, like, we're prioritizing doing damage to the enemy team here, which... Yeah, we are healing. Like, look at us. We're on the front line. I mean, that is a massive anti-nade. Like, no one is ever going to deny that that is not a massive anti-nade. But it's almost like the healing is a little bit of an afterthought for us. It, I feel like you need to just sort of reassess your priorities and think yeah okay i don't mind you i don't like i really don't mind you throwing big aggressive anti-nades that's a great sleep as well so you could primary fire her and then nade it yeah and actually the dynamite was thrown on her as well okay back to a soldier has he got nano yeah this happens a lot at the lower ranks where you get he's gonna nano us from behind isn't he oh attack fires from behind go on these crazy flanks yeah so we didn't need the heal then again you see what i mean like you you were not at the point where you were about to die, yet we just yeeted our nade into the ground. So I think you're making decisions a little bit too quick. Yeah, I don't know what that soldier was doing. Um, this is going to be... Could be winnable. Bob's probably going to help us out a lot here. But here we're definitely prioritizing healing, right? We need to keep this hog alive, whatever we do. Hmm. Yeah, I just think like... We've got to be careful of what's coming from the left. Um, we we are healing not as much as I'd like to heal, to be honest. And it's almost like going back to the awareness point of um, you're getting caught between... Yeah, like, you see, like, then, like, so we're firing our... Yeah. We're firing our sleep dart out when we really, really need to be healing the hog there, like, just to keep, make sure he's in a good position to carry on the fight. But we're sort of, like, 
we're, we're almost wanting to do too much. Like, we want to heal, we want to kill the enemy, we want to throw nades at them, we want to put them to sleep. You just need to laser focus in on, like, what is the main threat. So I think if we go back to this, and let's slow this down. Like, what is the main threat here as this goes through? Well, our hog is super low, right? We get hooked here. In fact, let's just go back a little bit more. So we did outstay our welcome here. So they're obviously, you know, Roadhog's looking at us like, you know, I'm just going to hook you. But watch, like, what's the priority here, right? So we're looking around a lot. And actually being this slow, just, just really break it down quite well. So look at our hog, right? He's taking damage. We're trying to heal him up. We could bring up the scope here and fire um, hit scan heals. Remember when you use the scope, the heals hit instantly. Whereas firing from the hit, there is a delay. So that there, why are we firing at the at the Zarya there? Like, at what point is that the play? And then we sort of turn around, randomly fire over there. This really does highlight how we're wasting a lot of our time here. We're not prioritizing keeping our team up. We're not prioritizing, like, punishing the enemy when we can. See, look, our Moira has been hit there. We've got Sleep Dart available. She got hooked. We could have maybe fired Sleep Dart at the Roadhog to maybe try and put him to sleep. Now, I know this... This we're watching at really slow speed, and it is. I think this is actually working quite well. Um, but again, like, look, where's the priority here? Well, a hog needs healing. We're getting a reload in, but we're focusing on the enemy. Yeah, look, like, look at this. It, look at hog's health is dropping. We should be healing him. But then we go for the sleep dart. Hog's one HP. Okay, luckily he gets his heal up. But there's a lot of mo missed time here, and I think this actually is is pretty much indicative of what's been going on in the entire game. Then we get hooked, and then we get taken out. So. It, yeah, this is this is an interesting one, right? This, there's a lot of indecision going on in this game. And I feel like if you can just simplify your gameplay, it sounds really crazy to me This does, to, to say this, but um, I, fe I feel like you're just trying to do too much. And I think if you really distilled it down and just became a bit more of a, uh, like had more of a simplistic approach and say, right, I am just going to keep my distance and I am just going to pump heels into my team. And I'm just going to go from there. It'll probably be... Uh, you'll notice that you get better results because you're laser focused on what Anna should be doing. And then you can start factoring in all of the additional stuff. Oh dear. Alright, so this start position is not too bad. I mean, obviously, I'd like you on top of big girls just so we've got the... We can see our team because we, we don't have line of sight to any of our team here. And we're hoping they don't get hooked. We're hoping... you know, there's, Yeah, so he gets hooked straight away. We do heal him up. We do get a kill off our Junkrat though, so not a bad start. Okay, so I guess we're going to go for a cheeky anti-nade. Again, I'm, you know, I'm not too fussed with that, but... Yeah, now we need to reset. Okay, can I just stop this here? Why are we this close to the team? Like, this again is an issue that I've got, and we see this time and time again in Overanalyze. Like, look at that. Why have we dropped that? Like, in what world do we get an... I mean, look, right, so there's a, right, there's a Junkrat there. Now, imagine if we were here. And we're just sitting here, like... This is something every player will do, like, plat and above uh, as a support. Especially as Anna. They're not going to go down into that fight there. So if I'm sitting here as Anna, I can shoot that um, Junkrat. I can throw nades into our team. There's, like, so much we can do here. And it's just crazy that you'd give up. I mean, Junkrat. Oh, our Junkrat actually got a kill. He killed their Junkrat. I was going to say their Junkrat might be able to do a lot of damage here because he's in a pretty nice position. But at least we are starting to sort of reset and then we're going back around again. We need to heal. Like, why are we not healing our hands out? He's super low. See, again, what was that? That nade missed everyone. Uh, and whoa, we're on the front line. So this, I think, is where we're starting to see why you're a silver support player. There's completely no awareness here of... Oh, they've got a Bastion. There's completely no awareness here as to where we should be. But, like, I think what's happening is you're getting a lot of feedback here. You're getting a lot of... I'm do, I am feel like I'm doing a lot of stuff. I'm throwing nades. I'm with the team. I'm getting assists. I'm pumping heals. It feels like you're doing a lot. But, like, it's so risky. Like, why we never want to be point blank with her Junkrat. That is, like, bad news for us, right? Super bad news. Again, we didn't need the, the nade there. We could have just healed him up naturally and, and prioritized throwing the nade into the enemy team or... Okay, so... Oh my god, everyone's using everything. Oof. Okay, Nano Junkrat is an interesting choice. Our Hanzo's on the flank with his dragon. This has got really messy and it's looking... Oh, it might be okay for us, actually. See, like, like, can I just stop this here? Like, what are you doing? Like, I actually have to ask this. Like, what are you doing? 
like you're Anna and and like you're the you're the most advanced player on your team. Like the, you must be watching this back now, thinking, "What am I doing?" Like, and I bet everybody at home is like, "What is this player doing?" Like, what? Like this is crazy, man. Like we, I keep banging on about it here, but your position is crazy. Like we're here throwing a nade. That's just gonna hit nothing. I mean. Yeah, I hit a corpse. That's just going to get res. So, whatever. But we're here. Like, what? We should never be there. We're Anna. We should be... Oh, my days. Okay, that was unlucky on the miss there. But, like, we're in such a dodgy position. Yeah, we, we, we're we just going to die. Our team's lost the whole fight. There's nothing we can really do about that. But you see what I'm saying, right? Anna is... You have to be very aware of your line of sights to your team and what the enemy team have got line of sight wise to you. You also don't want to be the most advanced player in the team. You don't want to be going on flanks. You've got to heal. Like, Anna's healing output is incredible when she can see a team, when she's safe in the back lines and she's pumping healing. You've got to make the enemy team come and find you. So stay on this high ground, please. Yeah, we shouldn't have... We should, again, like... Mm, there's too much going on, right? We, we were in a nice position. We then jump down onto the payload. We get destroyed. We get killed. It's a complete mess. Everything's going on. No one knows what's happening. We could still be in this game. Like, I've, I, there's a lot of deaths in this game you've had that were completely needless. And we always say that dying is is not a good idea in Overwatch. Like, anything you do to stop yourself dying is generally pretty good. Um, but, like, giving up positions where you're in a position and you know you're fa fairly safe, it makes no sense. And the point I was making before is... Yeah, just stay up here. Literally stay here. Okay, well, it's not... Okay. Oh, you heard the Riptire and you wanted to react to take the Riptire out. Okay, but you're the healer. You've got to keep healing. You're playing Anna like a DPS, really. Or like a very confused DPS. That's firing at the enemy team. That's, like, again, in the back line, I'm going to shut the Bastion down. It's like, well, what the hell? You're never going to shut the Bastion down. You're Anna. What are you doing in the back line? So what you've got to think with Anna is you want to give the enemy team a... A conundrum. You want to give them a challenge and say, come and get me. But what you're doing in this game is running into the enemy team and going, here I am, kill me. And it's making their job much easier. Like when Anna is dead, it really, like Anna is like one of the highest priority targets in the game. If she's on the enemy team and you kill the Anna, their healing output is, is screwed. And they lose so much utility. Uh, you know, things like that, missing those shots, whatever. They, that will come with more practice. But I do generally think your aim is, is not too bad. For this level of play. Um, I mean. You've got to be careful here. Because this doesn't really achieve anything. We've already got our nano. And there's no follow up damage ready to go in here to our team. So we've got to be careful. Yeah we've got to be really careful that Hog really wants us. See see, Hog knows he wants us. Again missed everyone with a nade. You know. Th th there is nothing on the enemy team. That will stop our nade. And our nade here is one of the win conditions. In a lot of these fights. Because. These guys are running a Bastion without a barrier, which is just crazy, right? This is such a bad team comp um, from this team. All we need to do is yeet our nade into the enemy team. And it's like, well, they're all anti guys. Let's just kill them. They're not going to be able to heal. But we're wasting this ability over and over again. You've got to read what's going on in front of you. And it's simple, Overwatch. It's not a hard game. Players make it hard when they just try and do too much. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's, it, yeah, oh man. It, I, I can see why you, like, when I go back to your email and you're like, hey, I whiffed a few sleeps, but I feel like I'm always playing well, but I always lose all the time. Hopefully you can see that you're not actually playing that well. You're doing a lot of nothing, or you're doing a lot of stuff which isn't really getting any result. That's a risky bet. <laughs> work though <laughs> yeah so whatever we're dead here anyway it doesn't matter there's no way we stop this disengaging um yeah i mean we yeah just this is I'm, I'm i'm a little bit worried i think we're okay though yeah oh yeah i feel like you're doing a lot of stuff but we're just not making the right decisions at all and we're prioritizing damage too much we're not i mean let's see what happens now but i don't think we're going to see anything different here because the enemy team I've got this bastion, and to, in my head, it's just like, right, all we need to do is anti-nade the cop. 
It's all we need to do. And it's going to be so difficult for them to get anything done. So I think we're looking for it, right? Yeah. So we haven't made the cart. Just nano someone and send it. Okay. We need to win this fight. Could nano our Reinhardt here? Okay, no, it's fine. We win. So one of the reasons why I was like, look, just nano, just nano, is if you were to take this fight like in a bubble and it was just a fight that happened and, you, you know, there was none of the other match happened, for example, you would be like, well, Stai, that's a crazy, that's such a bad idea to nano. But the enemy team had momentum and Overwatch is heavily momentum based and we've not beat them in a fight at all, really, since they took the first um, point. So investing a lot just to stop them, I don't mind that. And again, that, see, that would have been a huge nade there. Like, the whole team was there. We could have launched the nade. So sometimes, yeah, I don't mind heavy ult investment just to get things done. I mean, Nano Blade, yeah, should do quite well. I doubt they'll stop them. Like, at this rank, it's always super hard for Nano Blade to get stopped. Um, oh. we're, we're playing in such a bad place. Like, I can't explain how bad this is. Like, we're literally in the fight. When we could just be, you know, we could we could just be over here. <laughs> we could just be sitting here pumping healing onto everyone. We could be, you know, even even sort of where you where you were, like here, and just putting healing down. But we're like, we were fighting hog at point blank range, and these are things. These are really bad habits that you're just going to hit a wall, and the wall probably is like mid gold, or you're just going to get destroyed. Like you, you're walking up to people, they're just going to go, nah, mate, you're dead. Hey, Riptide is going to do some damage here to us. No, no, it's our Riptide. Was it theirs as well? Yeah, I think both got used. <laughs> oh, dear. Theirs was a better Riptide. But there's only 30 seconds left, though, although we do need to back off now. So it's a little bit worrying now, but it's fine because we can just back off here. We, our main priority is not to die, so we need to run the hell away from Roadhog. We need to get back into our team here. So we could have got back quicker there, but you, yeah, you had the right intention. We don't want to be exposed. Okay, it's bad now. I was going to say, we don't want to be exposed to the um, to the Bastion, but I mean, it, everyone's dead, so. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, damn. Um, yeah, you're a good player, but I feel like you're just doing too much stuff. I think that section we ran through where we had the whole, um, we slowed it down. You could really see that there was so much indecision there. Just, just really make your game simple. Just go, you know what? I'm going to keep myself at range. If I can get in the high ground positions and it gives me a good overview of the fight, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give the enemy DPS a problem. And that problem is come and get me because I'm so far in the back line or you're going to need to travel through to try and get me. Um, I'm not going to present myself up on a nice little silver platter and go, here's Anna, come and kill me. Um, I'm going to prioritize healing as well. Instead of like trying to do damage and healing and sleeping and about 10 different things all at once, just keep it simple and start building from there. And I think that actually will massively improve your gameplay. But I hope that was enjoyable, guys. Um, so that was overanalyzed. Remember, if you want to send in a video clip to appear on the show, then go to unitloss.com forward slash overanalyzed. Uh, you can still buy the value hoodie, which is still available. We've still got some stock uh, in, which you can grab if you want it. And um, yeah, remember, if you do get the hoodie, guys, do send me a picture of it or any of the, the merch. I love it. Like, I think what I might do is like a little collage of everyone sending stuff through. We've had some really cool pictures. We had like pictures of couples. I, one guy on a train track, which is like, please don't do anything dangerous. Um, but there was some cool stuff. All right, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video. Toodaloo.